Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try Panera Bread. Um, I'm in their parking lot and I have to go in. I didn't pre order or order online or whatever, but um, I, I will. Um, yeah, I'll go in here and order what I want. Um, someone asked that I try one of their flatbread pizzas and it sounded good. So I'm going to go in there and see uh, see what, what they have to offer. All right, so here's what I ordered. It's just a pepperoni flatbread. Um, it They had like a, one that was like pulled chicken and bacon. It, it looked really good too. This one has a tomato sauce on it. Um, the chicken and bacon one had a like a garlic sauce on it. Um, it was like a white sauce. So this one just sounded really good. And the bacon one, that was my second choice if I didn't get this one. Um, that one had like um, like the cherry tomatoes on it that were sliced up. But this one, uh, basic uh, pepperoni pizza sounds good. And that, I think that would appeal to more people too. So um, I got something I thought would, everybody would like to see. So let me turn it around and I'll tell you what the price was. Okay, I have to put my old man glasses on to be able to tell you how much it was. So um, the pepperoni flatbread, I didn't get a drink or anything like that. I, I just always have my own drink, or almost always have my own drink. Um, it was nine thirty nine for the pizza itself, um, fifty six cents of K Kentucky state tax. So my total was nine ninety five um, completely. So for a pizza, it's a pretty good sized pizza for for less than ten dollars. I don't think that's too awfully bad. Um, it looks like there's some pepperoni on here. It's not like covering every single bite, but it looks like there's quite a bit on there. Um, it's good and thin, which I like. I like a good thin crust. Um, looks like it's well baked on the bottom. There was a piece of like broccoli or something. I don't know what it was, something green on the bottom. No, not all of it's green. It was like this little piece of like lettuce that was stuck on the bottom. It's no big deal, but I was just telling you that's why it was green when I showed it to you. So here we go. Let me try them. Yeah. And they literally uh, made it fresh right there, um, basically in front of me. You can't actually see them making it, but the oven was right there. I saw it in the oven. I like the crust. The crust has a, it's not like a really crispy, thin crust pizza. It's like a, it's more of a soft, uh, doughy pizza. It's not like super soft, but it's, it does have some chew to it. The, uh, the pepperoni has some spice to it. I mean, if you absolutely didn't like spice at all, you probably wouldn't want to have this, but if you can tolerate just a little bit of spice, it, it's good. It's not, um, it's not like burn your mouth or anything like that, but you do get that pepperoni spice. Um, about like you would have for, um, breakfast sausage or something. It's about that level of spice. Um, the cheese is good. I like the texture of the cheese. It's a good and, and uh, creamy cheese. It's a pull away stretchy cheese, which is good. Um, the sauce is a little on the sweeter side. I really wish it would have been more, um, I don't know, garlicky or spiced, but, um, but it's, it's good. I really like the crust on the outside. It's got a really good crispy texture. Overall, it's pretty good. Pretty good pizza. It's um, I think I like the the edge of the crust better than the actual middle of the crust. But um, overall, the flavors are pretty good. I wish, like I said, I wish the sauce was a little spicier. But with the pepperoni, um, I think it adds enough spice to it where it overcomes the sweetness of the sauce. Um, if I were to try one of these again, I'd probably try the, the chicken and bacon one just to get a different kind of sauce and different flavors. But, um, like I said, I wanted to get a pepperoni one just to kind of be in the middle. So I'm going to give this one a four out of five. Um, I think it's good. There's some frozen pizzas that are almost as good, but, um, if you're going out to eat, this is a good alternative if you want a pizza that's not super, super high in calories. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. So four out of five, I think that's fair. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.